Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, March 20th, 2024. I'm Giovanni Betancourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets, and this is being recorded about one hour and a half before the U.S. market is open. So let's get with it. Bitcoin is up to its old tricks again. Despite taking a large step toward mainstream acceptance and a huge leap to fresh all-time highs, the cryptocurrency reminded investors yesterday that a wild swing lower is never that far away. The price of Bitcoin tumbled below 63000 after hitting a record high close to 74000 last week. While it's always difficult to assign a value to crypto assets, the bull case for Bitcoin can still be made. The approval of spot exchange traded funds, ETFs, in January has increased interest among institutional and retail investors. It has also accelerated the move toward mainstream acceptance and ETFs last week posted record inflows. The so-called halving event which cuts the rate at which new tokens are issued, is expected next month and historically helps push prices higher. Appetite for riskier assets in general, such as high-growth technology stocks, also aids digital assets. The tech-heavy Nasdaq is sitting just below its record high. But the price correction provides a major test for Bitcoin and its recent resurgence the asset's biggest fall in value since spot ETS began trading. If surging inflows helped Bitcoin reach new highs, then a mass exodus may well have the opposite effect. On the flip side, if those who have bought into Bitcoin ETFs prove to be unfazed by the price action, it could shore up the asset's recent strength. The answer to that question won't be clear for a while, but yesterday did mark record daily net, for net outflows of $326 million from U.S. spot Bitcoin ETFs. That's according to data from BitMEX Research. However, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust accounted for $444 million in outflows, but it does highlight a lack of buying among other funds. Bitcoin is at a crossroads. It's time for investors who have joined the crypto party this year to show whether they are in for it long haul or just to take profits. With that being said, let's take a look at what we can expect from our daily fluctuation today in today's market. Okay, so we have here in front of us the NASDAQ. It is a daily chart. All right, so we had yesterday fluctuated towards the 18,000 marker, but we didn't, re we didn't quite get there. Uh, we actually rebounded and fluctuated above the moving average. The RSI is far away from being overbought, so we can favor longs or buying into the, uh, in, in, into the NASDAQ. Now, just how much further we can we get well, we can use the uh, 18,400 level as a psychological resistance level for it. Initially, I am actually looking to see if we can come up to 18,500. That's basically my resistance. Then let's go to the next one. So we here have the S&P 500, which right now is acting, is, is doing no, it's almost creating, it could create a double top, but it's looking to reach that high that was created back in 14th of March. So can we actually revisit that high? Oh, that's very likely. So I'm gonna use a psychological round number uh, to give me that resistance and the RSI is getting closer to being overbought. Then we have here the Dow, still looking forward to reaching that double top that it created 
here a double top created so that's going to be acting as a resistance obviously resistance level 39,690 right around that area RSI is further away from being over oversold or, or bought sorry about that okay here we have crude oil so crude oil has been making good movements to the upside higher highs higher lows and today's fluctuation if you take a look at it if you can see it let's just make it wider so today's fluctuation it actually kind of peak above above is yesterday's close but it quickly retreated so this is a, a is, this could be a, a you know a healthy pullback correction okay and for it to be come again and try to attempt at $83 again RSI is farther away so we can favor longs or, or buying not gas okay so not gas and this chart daily chart let me just move it over here okay so internally not gas after making a pullback finding some floor creating what I call that the double bottom right here from here the market has created a nice uptrend okay but if we actually take a look at this this could be an ascending triangle and the breakout for it uh, could be favored to the upside then we have gold okay so gold has been in a consolidation stage if you will making same highs and making about the same lows if you will because we could use the, the, the wick making the double bottom and the double top and the same wicks throughout this this week so i i'm looking at this particular movement Okay, so this could be a descending triangle, if you will, being created and the movement of it is to the downside. So I have my, my support at 2130. The moving average can act as a dynamic support level for it. So let's see if it fluctuates through it. And we are definitely very far away from being oversold. Okay. And this is silver. Okay, let me just put it right here. Silver has you no know, has been doing very good movement to the upside. It has been doing a, a nice correction. So let's see if today will be that moment that this correction stopped. But we did open with a gap down. If you take a look, a closer look, we did open with a gap down. So the uh, direction of the gap can imply that we could probably continue to trend lower so let, let's keep that in mind then we have copper copper has made a nice high back in on monday if we haven't we retreated from there quickly okay we are bouncing off the uh, moving average right now okay so let's see if that will be enough uh of a movement of, of a of a correction for copper to continue to pick another attempt at moving higher okay so this is bouncing off here so they uh we did we did kind of see some sort of a of buying since we did hit that psychological round number of four dollars so let's see if the direction will be again higher to revisit this high of the high of uh, March 18th of Monday. Okay, then we have Bitcoin. I just you know we spoke about Bitcoin, 60,000, uh, where that's where it's at. It actually fluctuated even lower than that, almost to, to 60,000. So will that con continue? Well, we will see. We'll see. We'll see if that's the case. 64,000 can be applied as a psychological resistance level for it. The currencies are trading lower, okay? The euro lost that 109 floor on Monday. 
it closed below it. So 108 is going to be the next uh, powerful support level for it. And then we have the pound also just trending lower. Let's see if we can just move it average is above the, the market. So we can also expect that the market con will continue to trend lower. And that can be happening and we can blame some of the part for the dollar index. It is appreciating, recovering itself from this low fluctuation towards the 102 handle. It has just continued moving higher and higher. So let's see 104 and change will be the uh, level of resistance for the US dollar. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.